Uh, this question uh, involves you looking at uh, exchange rates between different currencies across the world and we're noticing here that there are actually three uh, exchange um, units given. There's going to be US dollars, there's going to be Caribbean dollars and there's going to be pounds. So we look at what the question actually wants. It's asking us to work out the price in pounds. Now we read the question carefully and look for some key information. So we've got an exchange rate here. Uh, we've got the price of the hat and we've got another exchange rate here. So we've got to kind of look at that information and see how it's going to work. So we've been told that we've got 65 East Caribbean dollars. So we know we're going to have to do something with the 65 East Caribbean dollars. We're trying to um, get the answer in pounds. So we look through the information and see whether there's something that goes directly from East Caribbean dollars straight to pounds. Well, there isn't unfortunately a straight relationship between the two. But there is a relationship here between the pounds and US dollars. So if we can get something in US dollars, we can then get back to pounds. Well, we can see here they're telling us that one US dollar is the same as 2.7 East Caribbean dollars. So we're gonna have to do something with those two numbers. So we've got 65 East Caribbean dollars as the cost of the hat, and we know the exchange rate is two of the East Caribbean dollars for every dollar, US dollar. Um, you could ask yourself the question, uh, there's four things you may need to do in maths uh, when you've got some numbers. It's going to be timesing, or dividing, or adding, or subtracting. And you kind of, kind of say to yourself that for every US dollar you're getting 2.7. So to go from US dollars to that, it looks like multiplying by 2.7 would be appropriate. But we want to go the other way around. So the sum we're going to end up doing is 65 divided by 2.7. So with our calculator, 65 divided by 2.7 equals. Now, again, watch with calculator questions. You really should use the whole number on the calculator throughout your workings out until you get to the final answer. And that's the only time that you should round. Otherwise, you get um, the potential for losing an accuracy mark. So we know that in US dollars, the 65 um, dollar hat is 24 point and so forth. Now we can um, go straight to pounds because we know the US dollar conversion and to go from US dollars back to pounds uh, we're going to have to divide again. So we're going to end up doing the 24.074.0707 share by 1.45. Now we left that number in our calculator because we knew it was going to use it, so it saved us having to retype it. And we're going to divide by 1.45. So that gives us an answer of 16.6028 pounds. Now again, we know from the way the English pound system works or the British pound system works is that we look at two decimal places for getting the pennies. 2 does not change the uh, 0 in the penny um, place value, so it's going to be 16 pounds and 60 pence.